Welcome back to 2K14 Universe. I'm Jitch and you're watching NXT. Yes, I almost forgot to introduce the episode again. <laughs> I've been recording these episodes so back to back that like I keep forgetting that like this is a different show. <clears throat> We are on number five of the final countdown to uh, WrestleMania, and then of course season five finally beginning. Just this episode of NXT is the second to last NXT of the season, and then of course SmackDown. And we got just that last week. Next week, and we're kicking things off here tonight with Ric Flair, who is at the face off against Zack Ryder. And this ought to be an interesting one-on-one -on -one match to start the night. Uh, we got some uh, big matches coming your way here tonight. Rey Mysterio, Justin Gabriel, two very gifted uh, competitors. I feel like a great matchup in the making there. They set the face off against each other next. And then in the main event next, uh, sorry, not next week, tonight, uh, Summer Rae will defend the NXT Women's Championship against Caitlyn. That's our main event here tonight. Of course, Caitlyn earned that championship opportunity last week. And speaking of last week, Zack Ryder picked up yet another victory over Sergeant Slaughter after a win over JBL the week before. And I feel like since coming to NXT, this guy's finally started winning. Let's we'll see if he can keep that up here tonight. The bell is rung. This one has begun. Zack Ryder and Ric Flair one on one with each other and into the corner. Ric Flair takes Zack Ryder. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Nice snake eyes straight away. Ric Flair is someone who has been really dying for an opportunity here on NXT to showcase himself and let it be known how great he is. Of course, next week's NXT will be the season finale episode of NXT. Unfortunately, we don't have anything really uh, major planned for it as we are bracing ourselves for uh, season five and obviously with that comes a brand new lineup of uh nxt superstars i cannot wait to see how much of a shift this brand will go through of course as well not only will there be a, a bunch of brand new superstars coming here to nxt but we'll also be saying goodbye to some superstars as we've been told that certain superstars uh may be drafted from nxt to either raw or smackdown as part of the draft, so you never know. Could be saying goodbye to a couple of people here on NXT in the near future. One thing for sure is the women's division will remain here on NXT. So any new signees that uh, join the women's division, they will immediately be here on NXT as well. And he'll be maybe relieved to know that last week after Big E Langston retained the NXT Championship against Ted DiBiase, he stormed out and said he is never coming back to the hellhole that is NXT. Uh, so, as of now, I can confirm DiBiase is no longer a part of NXT. Thank goodness. Two back-to-back -back chops there by Ric Flair as he chokes out Zack Ryder on the mat. You know, it's crazy to think Big E Langston is not in, in competition here tonight, despite the fact that he is the now officially tied, as of tonight, longest reigning NXT champion with Andre the Giant, which means when we come your way next week for the season finale of NXT, Big E Langston is the official longest reigning NXT champion. He has beaten Andre the Giant's original reign. Isn't that great? The downside is we don't really have a good challenger for Big E right now. I'll tell you what, if Zack Ryder beats Ric Flair tonight, I think that should be the next challenger for Big E Langston, because Zack Ryder has been on a roll. Spinning right hand across the face of Ric Flair. Right now, though, uh, Big E Langston is not scheduled to defend that championship next week. Uh, well, I'd hope he'd be on the final episode of... Uh, NXT in season four. I mean, he's he is very much the guy, the face of this NXT brand since it began. I mean, 
You know, the very inception of NXT, it uh, felt like it was all about uh, him trying to get his hands on the NXT Championship. For just under half a year, that felt like that was the central point in uh, NXT, and obviously that led to him winning the championship, and now I feel like he's just been an incredible champ on top the whole time. Zack Ryder coming in hot. And I tell you, this guy's got so much momentum in his favor, he should have come down to NXT sooner. I feel like this is the right place for this guy. And once again, not doing his signature because the AI is just too damn stupid. Man, this has been a, we got more that comeback kick perfectly kick sets up for it. But the AI is just so damn useless. This is it. Ric Flair works the knee. And normally I'd say, oh boy, set up for the figure four, but I think that's the first time he's done it. So I don't know if he's going to win with that. Flying forearm by Ryder. And now Ryder looking for the rough Ryder. And uh, doing a drop kick because he couldn't just wait for Flair to turn around. Well, that was awkward. And, oh, okay. I thought we were about to see the rough Ryder there, but I guess not. Forearm by Ryder instead. Left hand across uh, Zack Ryder and competition picking up here. We lost a lot of superstars here on NXT as we get close to the end of the season, but I feel like those that have continued to perform here on NXT have been very impressive in what they have done. Cover attempt here. Is this going to be enough? No. Just a one hand. And side suplex takes down Zack Ryder. Ryder with another reversal there to Flair. Remember, this is just our opening match here tonight on NXT. We still have two more matches to come your way. Zack Ryder and, I mean, sorry, Rey Mysterio and Justin Gabriel up next. I'm sure that will be a very good match. Uh, no word, by the way, unfortunately, on uh, the EYS for next week. Maybe we're not getting one. I mean, admittedly, the NXT roster is very small at the moment. So I guess we're not getting an EYS uh, next week on NXT, I'm afraid. You can see the abuse from this grueling match is definitely taking its toll. Turns him over and big left hand across the chest of Ric Flair. He can barely stand, but he still presses on. I have a message, by the way, to deliver. I don't, I don't agree with this at all, but unfortunately I'm just doing my job. Uh, apparently... Figure four leg lock coming in here. And there it is. Submission all applied on Zack Ryder. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I don't think he's worked those legs nearly enough, but it's going to definitely take its toll on Zack Ryder, who is struggling right now. As he gets back to his feet. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, uh... I've been told that apparently um, uh, JBL has declared that as the main eventer of last year's WrestleMania, he is making damn sure, whether he's on NXT or not, that he will be at WrestleMania. And there it is. Ric Flair shutting down the momentum of Zack Ryder. It's been a great couple of weeks for Ryder, but unfortunately here tonight, he suffered a loss. To the nature boy. Here is your winner, Rick Flair. Yeah, apparently JBL has confirmed that he is going to WrestleMania one way or another. I guess maybe he bought a ticket. Maybe he's going to be watching the crowd because he is not going to WrestleMania. No NXT superstars will be at WrestleMania. I can assure you that. He may, he may have main evented last year's WrestleMania. That was last year. Rick Flair is victorious. I feel like we've never seen this guy win because this looks really unfamiliar, but congratulations to Ric Flair. As we move on, Rey Mysterio and Justin Gabriel up next. That ought to be a good one.
Weighing 213 pounds, Justin Gabriel. Well, Gabriel has definitely not had the best time since the Nexus split here on NXT. And as a matter of fact, he's the only guy left of the three on NXT. I guess he's doing better than Otunga, who is no longer here in the WWE. But uh, Justin Gabriel really needs to pick up momentum for himself once again. He really needs to turn things around. And here tonight, this opportunity against Rey Mysterio could be exactly what Justin Gabriel needs. I would definitely love to see how this one goes down tonight. I feel like this could be a sleeper match for sure. This could be a real good one. If given the time and the opportunity. Rey Mysterio and Justin Gabriel, two extremely athletic, gifted competitors. Rey Mysterio was so happy to see Ted DiBiase shut down last week and removed here from NXT. Unfortunately for Rey, one guy who's no longer here in NXT is his own tag team partner, Sin Cara, is uh, unfortunately decided that it was time to take a step down. Uh, I don't really blame him. That guy had a real hard time winning. Ray flying solo, and that's honestly best for him right now, I think. Well, here we go. Rey Mysterio, Justin Gabriel. A great matchup for sure. I'm hoping anyway. And then up next, our main event, Summer Rae defending the NXT Women's Championship against Caitlyn. That's our main event tonight. Uh, kind of unfortunate that uh, we've already had the NXT Championships defended uh, over the last couple weeks because I feel like the season closing out with a title defense would be pretty big, but right now there's just no one in line for Biggie Langston's NXT Championship, but I don't believe there's anyone in line for Summer Rae's or potentially Caitlyn's uh, NXT Women's Championship after tonight. Um, so unfortunately, I gotta I gotta say, looking at the situation as it is, that uh, I think we're not going to be seeing any more title offenses next week on NXT. If only there was tag titles, but there aren't. Uh, Springboard failed to connect. Nice door breaker there by Justin Gabriel takes Rey Mysterio flat down. Off the ropes. Nice DDT there by Justin Gabriel. Oh, nice. He's putting those educated feet to good use. He was one step ahead on that one. He fails to connect. The kick connects. The phenomenal and Mysterio coming in, strike after strike, and a moonsault. To Justin Gabriel. Great reversal once again. Rey Mysterio so fast. I said before, I feel like it's been real great to see Rey Mysterio kind of coming into his own just lately and, you know, picking up wins, doing good for himself. Okay, he lost the NXT Championship match to Big E Langston a few weeks back, but there's no shame in losing the Big E Langston. I feel like everyone on NXT has lost a Langston at some point. And the little face of Rey Mysterio. Takes him down. Justin Gabriel. Really got so much improved in this ring here tonight. I mean, listen, I, I know Justin Gabriel hasn't had it great himself lately, but... This guy uh, was United States Champion at the first WrestleMania. I mean, he's, he's had some good times. He... I believe he beat Cena for the Intercontinental Championship from a tag champ of a couple times, W Tag Team Champions, because he's had the NXT Tag Team Championships a couple times too. Definitely don't underestimate Justin Gabriel just because he's been going through a tough time recently. This guy was once a, you know, a pinnacle, a top part of Friday Night SmackDown. That being said, though, if Ray can connect with this 619, this one might be over, and it looks like he's got him. Rey Mysterio, cross body, hooks the legs away from the rope. Smart move. Rey gets the win. Once again, Rey Mysterio is victorious here on NXT. And I think at this point, this guy might be ready to head back 
to SmackDown or maybe make his Raw debut. Congratulations to Rey Mysterio on a dominant victory here tonight. As we move on, up next is our main event. The NXT Women's Championship is on the line. This ought to be an interesting matchup. Summer Rae defending against Caitlyn. That's our main event up next. Well, Summer Rae has had an incredible season four. I feel like where the women's division may have suffered at certain points, Summer Rae has absolutely thrived. She has been just about the most untouchable competitor, period, in the women's division. I feel like no one has really been able to overcome Summer Rae. And here tonight, Caitlyn gets that opportunity to shut Summer Rae down, to finally win a championship. And let's hope the best for Caitlyn here tonight in this one-on-one -on -one matchup against Summer Rae. One of the most unbeatable women we've ever seen. And I can confirm to you next week's NXT, the season finale of NXT, uh, we have been told, get a load of this. JBL has said since there is no EYS match next week on uh, NXT, he will take it upon himself to issue a challenge to anyone, anyone who feels brave enough to get a victory over him from Raw or SmackDown. He has invited them to come here to NXT and beat him, put their spot on the line. JBL, you can't just make your own EYS match. But maybe he can, I don't know. Has he? I, I have no idea. Either way, uh, apparently, JB will face a Raw or SmackDown guy uh, next week here on NXT. Uh, we also have uh, Nikki Bella set to face off against AJ Lee. And in our main event, two good friends who celebrated last week will close out Season 4 facing off against each other one more time. So Big E Langston and Rey Mysterio go one-on-one -on -one once again next week. And in case you're curious, this time the championship will not be on the line. This will be a straight up one-on-one -on -one matchup between Rey Mysterio and Biggie Langston. Like, so just a matter of respect and, you know, just seeing who the better man is. As uh, right now, uh, both Biggie Langston and Rey Mysterio are rumored to be top potential picks in the 2013 draft to leave NXT. Of course, I mentioned this before. If Biggie Langston does end up getting drafted, uh, he will still compete here on NXT as well until he loses the NXT Championship. But until then, uh, we'll be seeing him pull double duty both on NXT and uh, either Raw or SmackDown, wherever he could go. That would have been the case for the tag champs as well if they got drafted, but obviously, as it currently stands, there are no NXT Tag Team Championship. Uh, two weeks time when uh, season five begins, I can confirm to you that the hunt for the next NXT Tag Team Champions will begin. We'll be seeing some new tag teams compete here on NXT in the coming weeks. I believe there'll be uh, four top scouted tag teams on NXT that will compete in just a series of three matches, uh, two tag team matches and then a uh, final ma match uh, in which the championships will be on the line to the time the next NXT Tag Team Champions. And for one tag team, this is going to be a really great way to get your career started here on NXT because they're going to be brand new to the WWE, to NXT, and they're going to be in, in just a matter of three weeks be the first ever, well, sorry, not the first ever, but the new NXT Tag Team Champions. That's huge. That's a really quick way to, to rise up. That's the thing is, uh, for Big E Langston right now, going into Season 5, there's going to be whole new threats introduced to NXT for his championship. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who comes in, who is able to impress, step up, 
you know, maybe dethrone who seems to be an unstoppable NXT champion. Right now, we're down to, I believe, nine. Uh, no, I think it's even less than that. The NXT men's roster is very small right now. Summer so Ray got the legs locked. Uh, like, a, oh, that's an interesting. It's like a figure four, but from a different angle. That actually looks far more painful than the figure four. Summer Ray. Oh, there it is. That big spin and heel kick. And Caitlyn has barely got any offense here. Summer Ray is. She's a machine, man. And oh my god, I thought we were done. I was. I genuinely, for a minute, I like Caitlyn, but I thought that was it. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I mean, the NXT men's roster is like what we got Biggie, Rey Mysterio, Zack Ryder, JBL, Justin Gabriel. Uh, I think I haven't said Ric Flair yet. And Sergeant Slaughter. I think that's it. Oh, and Wolf. See, so there's seven or eight people here on NXT right now. Spear by Caitlyn. Could this be the moment she has been waiting for? Caitlyn into the cover. Oh, no. Summer kicks out. It's tanked down by Summer. Back in control. That spear to perfection. But unfortunately, she had to pull her away from the ropes. And I think that cost her. And now Summer is back in control, as is to be expected. The champ has been so impressive. I mean, at one point, Summer Rae had an undefeated streak. I feel like that says all it needs to say about how great Summer has been since her debut. Be great to see AJ Lee back in action uh, after losing the championship a second time. She is back in action next week on NXT against Nikki Bella to close out season four. Of course, we spent a lot of this season rooting for AJ as the underdog that she is, but unfortunately, she's come up short a little too often. She is now right at the back of the line for the NXT Women's Championship. Cover attempt here on Caitlyn. Summer Rae gets the win. She's still NXT Women's Champ. Well, much like Big E Langston, she will also be closing out this season. Still a champion. Here is your winner and still NXT Women's Champion, Summer Rae. And well, that is it for tonight's episode of NXT. Catch you next week for the season finale. JBL open challenge to a Raw SmackDown superstar, Nikki Bella and AJ Lee. And in the main event, Big E Langston and Rey Mysterio. I'd imagine this is the send-off for one of these two. They gotta be top picks to be leaving NXT in the, in the draft, if you ask me. Either way, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the season finale of NXT next week.